Sir, uh, I understand the uh, ASEAN will be prioritizing uh, the drafting of a framework of a code of conduct in the, in, in the South China Sea. Uh, how, how, what's the progress now? Well, um, I don't want to uh, prejudge, but I would say that it's very promising and uh, it gives us uh, uh, a lot of um, optimism that uh, we are moving in the right direction. I think uh, two meetings have already been held uh, among the ASEAN and China uh, at the uh, expert level, and uh, they have achieved uh, concrete and positive results. So I think we're moving forward in the right direction. We're making good progress towards coming up with a framework. And in fact, uh, I still maintain the hope that maybe by mid-year, uh, but you don't have to pin me down completely, but I think we're very hopeful that by mid-year, uh, perhaps we might have a framework on a code of conduct. If you recall, we've been talking about a code for the past 15 years. Nothing has happened, uh, 2002. Uh, nothing really has happened substantively except uh, speeches, etc. But now we're on the road, I think, to really uh, looking seriously at what are the elements and uh, now in, in a position, hopefully, uh, to embark on actual serious negotiations on a code. Why is there a newfound momentum uh, behind the, uh, well, at least the framework for the code of conduct? Well, it could be um, many uh, issues here, but I think, uh, I would say, at least from our perspective, I would say improving relations between the Philippines and China. I think uh, uh, bilaterally, uh, the president's visit uh, uh, last October to China opened uh, the doors we were able to restore uh, at least our political relationship and, of course, our economic relationship uh, to their, their previous state. And I think um, there's been a generate, general uh, increasing trust among the countries. And uh, it was, in fact, China which uh, really made a, a, a big move forward to, uh, to begin discussions. SAN has always been ready to discuss. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, China has come forth with a very positive attitude. And perhaps this could be due to uh, maybe uh, creating a little bit more trust. Of course, there's still problems, and we're not saying that. But I think what this, uh, what this really signifies is that we're now in a position to try and seriously have a code or a framework, and in the process, talk about these problems, how to manage these tensions. And I think uh, there's been now a better uh, element of trust. But uh, of course, uh, and I think better political will. So I hopefully uh, this will continue in the years ahead and translate into something very concrete.